Hello everyone and welcome back to Chess with Eminem and also welcome back to another amazing game played between the engines and played between one of the most powerful engines in the world Stockfish against the artificial intelligence Alpha Zero and as every game to Alpha Zero we will see so different and so beautiful chess game and we will see another type from chess so without wasting any time let's get started Alpha Zero with the white pieces Stockfish with the black pieces Alpha Zero opened this game by Knight to F3 so Knight to F6 here played by Stockfish Stockfish and now c4 played now the ready to opening b6 now played d4 and now e6 and they call it to this defense the queen's indian defense okay if you play g6 and uh with bishop to g7 then it will be the king's in the end but if you make the uh, fianchetto to this bishop into uh by playing b6 and bishop to b7 then it will be the queen's in the end defense okay so here after e6 g th sorry uh, yeah after g uh, e6 g3 played now i want to develop my bishop on this diagonal too bishop to a6 played I mean, the most played movie is bishop to b7, but however, bishop to a6 is the second mo most played move. The idea that I'm attacking with pawn on the c4 square. So, queen to c2 defending that pawn, and now c5 hitting the center. And here, uh, alpha 0 simply push d5. The idea that I want to grab more space on the center. Also, if you capture, uh, and you capture by the pawn, and that's actually what happened, uh, here, uh, Stockfish played bishop back to b7, but the idea that if you capture by the knight, then queen to e4 will be deadly. I'm attacking your queen, and if you cover by the knight, then you will lose your rook. So the best move here for you is playing bishop to e6, and uh, bishop to e7, sorry, and by this, simply the black here will down uh, will be down a whole piece in the opening, and it's, it's uh, enough reason to winning. So here after c capture on d5, you cannot capture by the knight. So now bishop to b7 played. Now I'm threatening knight capture on uh, b uh, knight capture on d5. And alpha zero said I'm not interested about the pawn capture. If you want, I'm interested about developing my pieces and activate it. Here uh, Stoffe said okay, let's capture it. Knight capture on d5. And here uh, alpha zero simply castled. And until now alpha zero sacked his first pawn by uh, knight capture on d5. Okay. So uh, here, uh, alpha zero castle, and now knight to c6, I want to develop my knight. So here, rook to d1 play, attacking the knight, okay? And now bishop to e7. The idea that here, if you touch that knight, then knight to b4 will be deadly. I'm attacking your queen, also your rook on the d5 uh, uh, double, and you cannot protect that rook, so for that reason, you will lose the exchange. So here, after bishop to e7, you cannot touch the pawn, that knight, so here, queen to f5 played. Attacking the pawn twice. Also, knight to b4 doesn't work now because no longer my queen on the c2. So here I'm attacking your knight. So you have to do something like uh, to do something to protect it. Uh, knight back to f6 played now, and now e4. I want to push e5 to grab more space on the center and uh, on the king side. So here after e4, g6 played now by Stockfish. g6, please move your king. Also clearing the g7 square for the king when I castle for any back ranks checks in the future. So queen back to f4 played and here Stockfish castle. And now e5 played by alpha 0 grabbing more space on the king side. Alpha 0 until now playing perfectly actually. So knight to h5 played by Stockfish attacking the queen and now queen to g4. I want to keep my queen on the king side. Also I'm attacking your pawn on the d7 square. Oh, let's see, I'm putting a pressure on it. Now here Stockfish played rook to e8. Stockfish's idea that if you capture my queen, uh, sorry my pawns uh, on the d7, example rook capture on d7, then simply I have bishop to c8, okay? And the idea that if you capture my queen I will grab your queen. And let's say here you exchange the rooks. Then uh, if you take a look to this position we will see that materially both uh, engines is uh, equal but the idea here that this uh, piece is sleeping on the back rank why the black species is uh, so active all right okay this knight is not that active but this uh, this piece is, is active also the knight and the rook putting a pressure on the e5 square when this uh, bishop move away and also the the black here has uh, the bishop pair advantage so the black here has a nice adva advantage at this position so for that reason after rook to e8, stock, uh, alpha 0 he said, no, I will not capture on the d7, I will not take back my pawn, and I will not make the position easy for the black, and I will simply play knight to c3, developing my knight, preparing to play knight to d5 or knight to e4 at some point, to bring this knight into the attack on that king on the g8 square. So we queen to b8 played by stockfish. Now the idea here that I'm putting a pressure on your e5 square. Alpha 0 said I'm not interested about the pawn. If you want to capture it, capture it. The problem here that you cannot capture the pawn. Because if you capture it by the knight, then I have knight capture. And you, when you capture by the queen, then simply I have knight capture on e7. And it's deadly move actually. Uh, and then I will pick up your uh, bishop in the next move. And you cannot do anything to that. 
So for that reason here, after knight to d5, here's Stockfish played bishop back to f8, trying to covering this dark squares on the king side, okay? So here, after bishop to f8, bishop to f4 played by alpha 0, and in this game, we will see how alpha 0 exchanged this bishop with that bishop, uh, exchanged, exchanged the dark squares bishop, and how alpha 0 worked it on this dark squares on the king side. I mean, this game, guys, it will be so beautiful and so amazing game, just watch it into the end, alright? So after bishop to f4, here queen to c8 played now, supporting the pawn on the d5 square. And now h3 played, uh, alright? h3, the idea that clearing the h2 square for the king for any background checks in the future. So after h3, a knight back to e7 played now. Let's exchange the knights. And here, uh, of course, uh, alpha 0 declined that because alpha 0 need the pieces to attack uh, the black. The black is king. So we knight back to e3, declining the, ex uh, to, uh, the exchange the pieces. And now bishop to c6 plays supporting the pawn on the d7 square. Now, here started the action. And started, how can I say it? Started the amazing thing in this game. Here, after bishop to c6, alpha 0 played an amazing move action and it is rogue to d6. Rogue to d6 is a brilliant move actually by alpha 0. Now what's the idea by this move? The idea is so simple. The idea is not all of this pawn to get pushed it, and if this pawn is still on the d7 square, so the black pieces will be so unuseful. I mean, this rook can I mean this rook uh, you cannot develop your rook, you cannot develop your bishop. This queen will still an active queen. Also, all the black the black pieces will be so active, and also when I bring the other rook into the uh, file, then I have I will have a nice pressure on that pawn. All right. So rook to d6 is an amazing move actually by alpha 0. Here after rook to d6, knight back to g7 played. Knight back to g7, I want to play something like knight to f5 when you capture by the knight and I will recapture by the other knight attacking your rook. So here rook to f6 played now. The idea that you cannot play something like knight to f5, of course, because I will capture and when you capture, I will, I will capture by the rook. You cannot capture by the pawn because if you do that, then simply you will lose your... Uh, sorry, you cannot capture by the pawn because it's spinning with your king. So here after rook to f6, queen to b7 played now, putting a pressure on the f3 square. Here Stockfish trying to do something, but actually Stockfish has nothing to do here. Look at Stockfish's position, this bishop is stuck on the f8 square, he, uh, there is no useful, uh, let's say, there is no useful uh, thing to do to this rooks, and the only active uh, piece is the queen and the bishop, and all what they do is putting a pressure on the knight on the f3 square. So we're after a queen to b7, queen to b7, bishop to h6 played by alpha 0. The idea here that when you move your knight, then I will exchange the dark square's bishop, and then I will work on the weaknesses on the king's side. So we're after knight, uh, so we're after bishop to h5, knight to d5 played now, attacking the rook, so here immediately. Uh, alpha 0 captured that knight, knight capture on d5, bishop capture on d5, and here rook to d1 attacking or putting a pressure on that uh, bishop on the d5 square. So here knight to e6 play now, developing the knight, and as we said, when you move your knight, then we will exchange the bishop. Bishops, bishop capture on f8, rook capture on f8 played, and now queen to h4 played by uh, stockfish, by alpha 0, sorry. The idea that I want to play queen to h6, and when you move your uh, knight away to anywhere, then I will play knight to g5 as a next move, and then queen to h7 will be a, a threat by a checkmate. So you have to be careful, my, do my dear stockfish. Bishop back to c6 played by stockfish, and here, and queen to h6. As we said, when you move your knight, then knight to g5 will be deadly. So here after knight, uh, queen to h6, rook a to e8, bringing the other rook into the game. However, this rook on the a8, as uh, the rook on the e8, but it's stockfish trying to do something. Stockfish, because stockfish has to do something, he cannot just sit and waiting alpha 0 to attack him, or to squeeze him. Let's say. So we have to rook a to e8. Here alpha 0 said, okay, now we have a uh, perfect rook on the f6 square. Not all of this pawn to get pushed. So let's bring the other rook into the d6. And not all of the black to push his pawns. And not all of the black to develop his pieces. I mean, alpha 0 here playing perfectly. And all this is just for one pawn. Instead one pawn. The black here has, uh, the black here is up a pawn. But also the black has no plans has no active pieces has nothing to do at this game rook to d6 played here by alpha 0 and now bishop capture on f3 played bishop capture on f3 of course uh, the, uh, the bishop protected by the bishop uh, sorry the bishop protected by the rook so uh, i'm attacking your queen now queen to a6 
trying to do something on the queen side, attacking the pawn on the a2 or something like that. But here after queen to a6, simply uh, uh, h4 played by alpha 0. The idea that I want to push h5 as a next move. Uh, and I will exchange the pawns on that side and then I will capture on the d7 and I will sack on the g7 on the g6 square my, by my rook and simply to, I will attack, I will give your king a beautiful checkmate. So here after h4, a queen to a5 played. Now the idea that I want to play something, sorry, not queen to a4, queen to a5. The idea that I want to play something like queen to e1 check and then I will pick up your pawn on the e5 square. So we rook back to d1 preventing queen to e1 check and now c4 played trying to do sorry what's going on c4 all right c4 played now by stockfish trying to do something also attacking the pawn on the e5 square so here look to d5 uh, protecting that pawn also attacking the queen queen to e1 check played king to g2 played by alpha 0 king to g2 and now c3 played by stockfish trying to do something on the queen side but i mean stockfish has nothing to do actually here pawn capture on c3 queen capture on c3 played and here simply h5 let's open the i mean let's open every the, i mean let's open everything on the king side so we're after h5 rook to e7 played trying to do something trying to govern uh, the seventh rank or something like that because here i mean if you uh, play anything let's say like a6 then pawn capture on h7 g7 will be delayed actually if you when you capture when you recapture by the pawn then i have rook capture on d7 and now the threat is rook capture on g6 example if you play anything like uh, this uh, a5 then i have rook capture on h g7 with a check when you recapture by the queen then simply have queen capture on g7 if you move your king to h to the h8 then queen to h7 will be a checkmate and if you cover by the knight then a queen capture will be a checkmate so i mean so for this season here uh, rook to e7 played protecting the pawn on the d7 square and now bishop to d1 simply played by alpha 0 what the idea about this move the idea i want to play bishop to b3 and the idea here that if you capture by uh if i uh, let's say here you played anything like a6 then i'll play bishop to d3 and uh, b3 sorry and when you play let's say here you, the black here played a5 then i will capture on the a g6 h capture on g6 the idea that if you capture by the pawn then you open the diagonal on your king and if you uh, by the f pawn let's say and if you capture by the h pawn then simply have rook to d1 rook to h1 and queen to h8 checkmate how to prevent this there is no way to do that so here after uh sorry uh, where were we here after bishop to d1 rook queen to e1 played now i mean trying to do something but there is nothing to do here putting a pressure on the e5 pawn bishop to b3 played here by alpha 0 and now rook to d8 uh, supporting the pawn on the d7 square so we rook to f3 the idea that i want to play rook to e3 to attack your queen also to defend that uh, pawn because i have to move this uh, because i have to move the d5 rook to open the diagonal for my bishop i mean alpha 0 playing perfectly queen to e4 uh pinning the knight uh, pinning the rook or something like that but here simply queen to d2 played putting more pressure on the d7 square also clearing the h6 square for the pawn to come into the h6 square queen to g4 i want to grab your pawn but here simply bishop back to d1 if you touch the pawn then something like rook capture on f7 will be deadly attacking your queen also attacking your rook and the this the edge he says that the black here has a huge advantage actually so here after rook capture on, uh, sorry, after bishop to d1, a queen back to e4 played by a stockfish, and now simply h6. The idea by this pawn, uh, by the uh, by h6, is controlling the g7 square and, uh, I mean, making a problems to this king on the back ranks. Example here, if I could play something like queen to g5 and queen to f6, then queen to g7 will be a deadly threat here when I, let's say, I grab your knight by my rook or something like that so here after h6 uh this pawn on is so dangerously pawn for the black but i mean what can you do to this to that pawn h6 here played and now knight to c7 attacking the rook all right and now rook to d6 played and now knight back to e6 played again by stockfish now the question here why stockfish did not capture the pawn and the answer he says that and the answer here is, uh, if you do that, then I will, ca I will capture on the d7 and will recapture by the rook. Then I will recapture by the queen, putting a pressure on your uh, pawn on the f7 square, also attacking your knight. Also, no longer you have a rook to protect the back ranks. Uh, and also bishop to b3 comes on your king's diagonal and also to put a huge pressure on the pawn on the f7 square. And here the edge says that 
the white here has a huge advantage actually so we have to look to d6 all right uh look capture on uh, i mean capturing the pawn is not the best move so we're knight to e6 played and now bishop to b3 simply let's bring our bishop again into that diagonal here a stockfish captured by the queen queen capture on e5 and the the question here that why alpha zero sacked the pawn because this pawn was closing this diagonal the a1 h8 diagonal and because stockfish captured now the pawn so this uh, diagonal get open it so why that uh, the mission is uh, attacking that uh, queen and forcing him to leave this diagonal to play some like queen let's say here here is alpha zero played queen to d5 or rook to d5 right the idea that if you move your queen away of this diagonal, then queen to c3 or queen to b2 will be deadly. I mean, queen to c3 threatening queen to g7 checkmate. It's it's hard actually to pre to prevent to prevent that threat. So here after rook to d5, you have to keep your queen on this diagonal, and here stockfish played the rook queen back to h8. Yeah, I mean you have not, you have not, you have nothing to, not, nothing to do here, because I mean if you try to play something, let's say all the squares are protected but if you try to play something let's say like rook to a8 then simply i can play some like rook to c3 closing the diagonal on you and then i will i can play some like queen to e3 queen to e5 and then queen to g7 checkmate i mean how you prevent all of these threats so we are after uh, rook to d5 uh, so we stopped played queen back to h8 and now queen to b4 played attacking that rook on the e7 square so knight to c5 trying to covering the diagonal but here simply alpha zero sack the exchange rook capture on c5 pawn capture on c5 and not queen capture on c5 but queen to h4 more strong and more yeah i mean more strong move the idea that i'm attacking your rook and also if you move it away then you lose the other rook behind it so you have to be careful here and now rook d to e8 played to protecting the other rook because i mean here you cannot leave uh, the e7 square this rook cannot leave the e7 square because this rook is the only defender of the pawn on the f7 square so here rook to e rook d to e8 played and, and now simply rook to f6 played by alpha zero what the idea about this move the idea is impressing imposing that queen on the h8 and now after rook to f6 that queen cannot leave his place anymore I mean, rook to f6, g4, g5 comes to support that queen, on a, to support that rook, sorry. When I support that rook, then this my queen will be free, and then I will uh, I will shift him into the queen side to grab that pawns, and to make a, a pass uh, a pawn on the queen side. How will prevent all of this? There is no way to do that. Rook to f8, he'll play by stockfish, and now simply queen to f4, putting a huge pressure on the f7 square. a5 trying to do something but here simply a g4 played i want to push g5 as a next move d5 played now and now simply bishop capture on d5 let's just capture that pawn rook to d7 attacking the bishop bishop back to c4 played now and now simply a4 trying to do something but there is nothing to do here g5 supporting that rook so uh, my queen is free now a3 played by stockfish and now queen captured uh, so a3 played and now queen to f3 attacking the pawn on the a3 square and you cannot protect that pawn uh, here after queen to f3 rook to c7 played now sorry rook to c7 played now supporting the pawn on the c5 square or just uh, moving the pieces queen capture on a3 played queen capture on f6 i mean you have to sack your queen pawn capture on f6 played rook f to c8 played now uh, and now queen to d3 it's winning position for the white here Rook back to f8 played, queen to d6 attacking the rook, rook f to c8 protecting that rook, and now simply a4, I want to push my passive a pawn, and it was at this position that Stockfish simply designed this game. I mean, yeah, this was the game, hope you really enjoyed it. I mean, it's so beautiful, and I mean, a game like, a games like this, changing all what we know about chess. I mean, all the beautiful ideas which we uh, saw, like uh, rook to uh, d1 and rook to d6 idea and then he brought the, the rook into the uh, the f6 and then he brought the other rook into uh, the d6 square with the queen on the h6 square and uh, how he exchanged the dark squares and how he worked it on the dark on the weak dark uh, squares on the king side and how he uh, trapped that queen it's it was actually so beautiful game played by alpha zero and yeah this was the video this was the game hope you really enjoyed it if you enjoyed the video there's like button below the video you can click on it and there's subscribe button also if you are not subscriber i mean if you click on these buttons i will appreciate this and also see you in the next videos